welcome to Facebook Live. So for our edition tonight, I have the top three things that clog your length, and I have a challenge for everybody. So the top three things that clog your length, number one, the Dairy Association is not gonna be happy about, nor is half of my family from upstate New York who are dairy farmers, but it's cow dairy. If you've noticed, I'm not a cow. None of you are. We don't have udders. And uh, cows actually have a completely digestive different digestive system than us as well. But the bottom line is the cow protein, it's not the cow fat, but it's the cow protein, is so much longer than our protein and goat and sheep protein. And we don't have the digestive enzyme to cleave, break up that protein. In Dr. Rao's book, The Swiss Secret to Optimal Health, his first book, he has a great explanation for what cow dairy does. And I'm gonna steal from him for a moment, but I do give him the praise for it, Dr. Rao. So what Tom, uh, Dr. Rao always talked about, Thomas always talked about, is that when you, you, your body can only digest 60 grams of protein every single day, and any excess protein gets stored in your lymphatics and in your gut. Well, cow dairy is such a big protein not about the grammage of it, but, but the fact that it's so long, it's like that. It stores all this extra protein. It doesn't know what to do with it. And it lays all over our mucosa lining, which is your sinuses, your lungs, and your gut. It lays this layer of pus and mucus. Because guess what milk is? Pus and mucus from a cow. Makes you want to drink a lot of milk, doesn't it? So if you were driving down the road today, up here in Bucks, Montgomery County, right? In Pennsylvania, and you saw a sheep out in the field suckling from the tit of a cow, you would turn your car right around and be like, what the hell is going on there? But that's what you do every single day when you drink milk, eat cheese from a cow. And listen, I let cow dairy snip in once in a while. When I met Ian 20 some odd years ago, pretty much my diet consisted of bagels and cheese. I had pizza, kid you not, seven days a week. I ate milk, drank whole milk, and had ice cream three to four times a week. And outside of that, my diet was cheese because I was a vegetarian. I ate no vegetables, but was a vegetarian. So I was a milky mess, and I had this layer of fat on me that was purely from milk. So it thickens your lymph, it clogs your lymph, your lymph is your toxic waste dump. And if you don't have cow dairy, for three weeks, your entire intestines will rebuild. 21 days. So my challenge to all of you, the number one thing that clogs your lymph is cow dairy. So I, I challenge you to give it up for 21 days. No whey, no cow dairy in additives. Look, see, make sure dry milk is an, is an ingredient in any food. You can eat butter, you can eat heavy cream because that's the fat and we have very good reasons ways and needs for those fats, okay? But cow dairy is an absolute avoid. So you're gonna avoid it for 21 days. If it sneaks in and you're like, oh, I forgot I've got a cheeseburger with cow dairy on it, you, your, top, your clock starts over. Anybody have questions yet? Or are they all freaking out about the cow dairy? If you have questions about my challenge, let me know, okay? So 21 days, no cow dairy. On day 22, I want you to get up and I want you to have yogurt, I want you to have milk in your cereal, I want you to have cheese on your sandwich. I want you to eat cow dairy all day long on day 22. Fran's looking at me because she's been cold in the record going, are you crazy? And then on day 23, call me, text me, tell me how you feel. Because bottom line is, once you do that, you won't go back. Now, I say that knowing that I've done this challenge one time in my life. And I did not touch dairy for well over 15 years. Last five years, in all honesty, I've let it slip in here and there. Three, four days ago, I was talking to a colleague friend of mine, and I gave her the challenge. Merrily, if you're listening, I gave her the challenge, and she said, I'm doing it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to recommit, and I'm going to do it too. I have no cow dairy at all. So it's not that hard for me because I might have it once every two weeks in a Jules Thin Cuss pizza or something, but I'm literally cutting out of my life because it creates inflammation. It thickens my lymph. So that's the number one thing that thickens your lymph is cow dairy. So my challenge is the 21, 22 day challenge. On day 23, you call me, you'll never go back. And if you're not convinced, you can always go to notmilk.com and read that information. I don't need to say anything else. Number two, tight fitting clothes is the other thing that clogs your lymph. Wire bras. 
um, spandex tight fitting pants that like don't let you breathe, pantyhose. I forget because I don't wear tight fitting clothes very often. Maybe my tight jeans. But tight fitting clothes really clog your lymph. So at the end of the day, make sure that as soon as you get home, you take your bra off, ladies. Um, men, if you have socks that leaves lines on your legs, that's too tight and it'll, it'll clog your lymph. So wear loose fitting clothes. At work, it might not always be appropriate. You might have to wear um, stockings or you know something like that. Please don't wear Spanx. I think that is like the worst invention on the planet, to be honest with you. Not only do they not work, but talk about clogging your lymph. There couldn't be anything worse than Spanx for clogging your lymph. And wire bras are an absolute no-no. Like, wire bras just cut off the lymph right here at your breast. Most women get breast cancer right here in this quadrant. This is the most common. Well, it's right where the lymph is clogged off from the breast because of that wire. That's a whole nother story. The third thing that clogs your lymph is sedentary lifestyle. Sitting down, not moving, not moving your body. We have a lot to learn from dogs. Dogs teach us a lot. They get up every single day. I don't have a dog anymore, but every one of our dogs, first thing they do every morning is, oh, stretch. The first thing I do every morning is I do this as soon as I get up. Can you see me? Mm -hmm. I twist my wrists. I twist my ankles. I raise my feet above my head and I twist my ankles. I start pumping. And then I get out of bed and I do about 15 minutes of, I won't call it yoga, but yoga poses, movements. And all I hear is cracks and pops and cracks and pops. And maybe we can put a link on tonight's thing for the fuzz speech from YouTube. There's this crazy guy. I don't know what he is or who he is, but he does this amazing speech on fuzz speech. I think he um, is a forensic scientist, actually, because it looks like he's working on cadavers. But he talks about the fascia and how the fascia at night really gets tight, and in order to get it to move, you have to move. So every couple hours you're sitting at your desk all day long, you just need to get up and you need to move your body. And I don't mean like move like this. I mean like move your body. Do your... What's I call it? Calisthenics. Just stretch. <laughs> yeah. He called it dungarees and sliding boards too. Love my husband, but he is 60. Um, and so, you know, you're just, you're moving your body. So the top three things to clog your lymph. Cow dairy, tight fitting clothes, and sedentary lifestyle. Even if you're sitting on the couch, you can bounce on an exercise ball. Not sitting on the couch. You can't sit on the couch and bounce on an exercise ball. If you're sitting watching TV, you can bounce on the exercise ball for 15, 20 minutes and then go back to sitting on the couch and relax. Just make sure you're moving your body. Questions? No, Bonnie says, thank you. You are my teacher. You're welcome, Bonnie, whoever you are. I'm glad. <laughs> I love teaching. What? Anybody have questions about clogging your lymph, tight fitting clothes, anything? The cow dairy challenge. So let me know you're going to do the challenge. Forward this to your friends. Uh, what did Silas want me to do? Oh, he wants everybody to listen to Sad Guru. Silas always has instructions for me for uh, Wednesday night uh, <laughs> Facebook Live. So if you want to watch that, if you want to listen to Sad Guru, please do. But let me know that you're going to do the 21 day challenge because I want to know who wants to do it, who's going to be involved in it. And I will help you, support you in every way that I possibly can to guide you. If you need a cheese sheet to know what are the cheeses you can eat. Because go and sheep cheese you can eat all day long, folks. Go and sheep yogurt, get it. Because their protein is more similar to ours. We could get into a philosophical discussion, but we'll I'll end at this. I know I'm past my 10 minutes, but cow dairy, when I was growing up, there was a commercial called Milk Does a Body Good. That was their tagline. Milk does a body good. Now, it's got milk. Do you know why? Because they had to change the tagline for false advertising. Because milk does not do a body good. The dairy industry has done an amazing marketing job pulling wool over people's eyes thinking that the cow dairy is all good for you. Get off the tit.